Hey guys, welcome to Joe Seminera Presents. I'm Joe Seminera. Today's topic of conversation is going to be how to stay motivated making films. And you know what? Coming up next, uh, a little quick and easy tip to stay in this business. Be happy. Try to keep your head together. Stay focused and keep making films. Coming up. So, whoa, is that the question of the year? I mean, really, how do you stay motivated making films in an industry that is so tough and talk about getting kicked down to the curb, thrown back uh, and coming back for more all the time? How to stay motivated making a movie is certainly a topic of conversation, but I guess that could also be turned into how to get motivated or how to stay motivated becoming an actor, an actress, an editor. This whole industry requires... Uh, getting motivated somewhat and trying to find that motivation, trying to find that comfort zone to keep it going, you know, keep that ball rolling and those engines running smooth. So how do you stay motivated making a film, especially when you come to find out there's no money in it? I mean, look, you have to pay your dues in this business. And over the years, if you don't stay with it, you can somewhat lose it, look back and say, boy, that was a waste of my time. That was a waste of life. But really, everything is experience. And if you really want it that bad, you stay on track, keep it going. And eventually it works. It pays off. I'm proof in the pudding. Uh, I've struggled in this industry for many, many, many years, and then finally it's, it's starting to pay off. So there is light at the end of the tunnel, but a couple of tips to really keep you motivated. Number one is try to find something or someone that you look up to, like a mentor in this business, right? Okay, you can look up to me, that's fine. But you really want to try to find, if you're a director or you're looking to direct, you want to find a director that's making movies that you like or a successful director that... Maybe you say to yourself, hey, you know what? I want to be in the union. I want to be in the director's guild. I want to be directing millions of dollars worth of productions, uh, you know, and getting paid only a small percentage of that. No, the truth of the matter is that you could do really well with uh, this industry, but the key is to not stop. You have to keep it going. You have to really look at this and say, this is what I want to do. Now, is that to say you shouldn't have a backup or a day job on the side to pay the bills? No, I'm not saying that. You know, I mean... You can go either the safe route or you can dive right into it, right? And the safe route sometimes uh, is always works out uh, pretty good too, especially if you have a family and you're doing this as well. So you want to always try to cover your bases. Um, look, you know, going into this, making your picture, you always have the best intentions, but you should know that it's going to take time like anything you do. It has nothing to do with the film industry. Anything that you do in life is going to take energy. It's going to take time. It's going to take motivation. It's going to take self-discipline, you know, all those tools. And if you don't have that, you need to try to find something that will encourage you every day, even if it's a daily video. One of the reasons why I started making these videos, I try to put out one a week, try to put out two a week that's kind of almost impossible depending on the filming schedule that I'm in but you know is to try to help filmmakers and people in this industry know that you know you can pay your dues and it could pay off down the road uh, and just not to give up because I think there's so many creative people out there and they sort of throw their shirt in and they say you know what I've had it I'm not making the money my movie doesn't have any distribution uh, I peddled this around for six months and I got nowhere. Well, welcome to the film business, you know, and get with it. You know, really, you need to just sit back and, and, and talk about you're in the toughest industry by far, short of shoveling like dog crap, you know, every day. But this is a tough industry, folks. So this is not going to be one of those easy professions you just sort of just kind of dive right into it. I mean, you need to stay motivated and you have to get with it, get with the program and know exactly what your goal is. That's another thing about how to get motivated. Is you ha There has to be a short-term goal and there has to be a long-term goal. There has to be a vision here. At some point down the road, you want to pick a spot that you want to be in. And that could be just making a successful film, getting a couple of awards. It could mean, you know, having a net worth of $500,000. It could mean having three contracts from a large distribution company. It could mean getting $2 million or $10 million through backing and investors. You know, whatever it is your goal, you better identify that before you jump into a project, right? So you got your short-term goal. Well, my short-term goal is I'm getting done with this picture in eight months. And the short-term goal is I'm gonna find a way to get sponsors to pay for it. Now, the big picture, right? 
you don't want to be chomping at the bit every movie that you make start to say to yourself well i'm just getting by at the skin of my teeth and i don't really have that much distribution right so the long-term goal would be okay now i want some major contracts on the table i want to be paid for what i'm worth and believe me down the road you will be paid for what you're worth but you also have to show people and you have to prove yourself and make a track record so that when these people who can give you the money investors and stuff like that they look into let's just say you know Joe Schmo, they want to look at your background and they're going to see some credibility. They, they want to see some traction. They want to see that you've put in your time, your sweat, your tears, and they want to see it online. They want some credibility to your name, right? Nobody's just going to, sure, do you shack it up with somebody who's maybe got a lot of money and they decide to give you so much money because your performance is great. Really, the reality is if an investor is going to invest in you and put money down on the table, they're going to want to know that they're getting that money back or at least they have a, a, a shot to try to get some of that money back. So what you have to do as an individual is build your portfolio, build your resume, and as much and as fast as you go, you make noise in this industry. You make so much noise that they Google your name, Tons of stuff is going to pop up and they're going to say, wow, this person is the real deal. Here you go. Here's 500,000. I want 20% of the movie. Now go make it happen. But I got to tell you, it's not all that it's cracked up to be. Okay, you need to line everything up. So do your research first before you start making a movie. Okay, and say to yourself, you know, do I have my distribution lined up? And do not, do not put all your eggs and your future in the hands of a distributor. You know, you should know by anything watching these videos that I tell you, self-distribute if you can. If you can't, you better know the direction that you're going to because once you sign on that dotted line that you've signed three to, to eight years with a distributor, your baby belongs to someone else and you can't control anything you do with it and nothing's more frustrated than that. We should have another video on, on how to go after them legally because I've done that a bunch of times. I can help you out with that. But really the reality is you're going to plan to make your movie, get motivated with some kind of videos, watch something that motivates you, that pushes you to do it, to pick up the camera and just go do it. And don't pay attention to the naysayers. Don't pay attention to, oh, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that or you should wait to do this before you start. Put, throw all that in the garbage because people love to talk, they love to yap, and the whole world's against you until you make it. And then when you make it, it, everybody all of a sudden comes out and they're your friend again. So just take your own destiny in your own hands. Go and make your picture. Know what distribution you're going into. Don't get into debt making it. Be Come up with a plan. Look, you can actually fund your own movie on a credit card. I mean, get creative to where it's going to be that you can afford to make the payments. Don't go broke doing it. But believe in what you're doing. Go out there, lights, camera, and action.